across the mainstream media as well as in the social media everybody seems to be predicting the market direction well to some extent it is very obvious that the market is in the downtrend but there are a few things i think we should keep in mind before suggesting or advising anybody who is buying or selling property in this market so without further ado let's dive in If you're new to my channel, my name is Yasin Nizami and I make these videos to educate you as a common person about the real estate market in Canada with some macroeconomics and some money metrics in terms of how the money works, how the global financial system works, some, some of the hidden truths that is not available in the mainstream literature. So if you're interested in any of these topics, consider subscribing. Let's go back to our topic. So there is no doubt that the whole world right now is under immense pressure of getting into potential recession. Why? Because the entire world is severely levered in terms of high debt that we have accumulated. And now when the interest rate is going up, that debt become very expensive and harder to pay back. Now that goes along with the private debt as well as the government debt. If we consider US or Canada, we have seen our government has taken enormous amount of debt in the last two years and now that debt has to be paid back by you know the consumer, by the citizens of those countries and now we will be paying that price in the form of inflation. So as we are seeing, the Bank of Canada is raising interest rate, which is making mortgage very expensive, not only to pay back, but also to qualify for, for the first time home buyer. So that is going to be a tough time for new buyers to uh, get into the property market because simply the qualification is not going to be there. But at the same time, what I wanted to make sure that you understand that the pre-construction industry is going to be severely impacted because Bank of Canada, uh, they can definitely kill the aggregate demand by raising interest rate, but they cannot fix the construction cost because the construction cost is not getting any cheaper anymore. Okay, so two components from the pre-construction perspective. Number one, the lack of labor. So we really have shortage of skills in the construction industry. The reason is we don't have a lot of uh, young generation coming into construction trade. The people we have in the construction trade are typically baby boomers and in the next five to ten years they are going to get retired so we don't have the young generation coming into this trade to replace that workforce so we will have a severe shortage of skills uh, going forward uh, number two the uh, raw material that goes into the housing construction uh, some components we source locally like lumber uh, and any wood material but a lot of stuff we import from other countries like steel like you know kitchen cabinets uh, appliances and all lots of you know ceramic and marbles a lot of stuff is imported either from United States uh, or Mexico or from European countries so that stuff is not getting any cheaper by raising interest rate so what I'm gonna see is at some point we will see an equilibrium in the market where we see the housing demand is being diminished at an aggregate level by the Bank of Canada by raising interest rate but at the same time if I'm the builder we we'll immediately take a pause on releasing any new pre-construction projects because a I'm seeing the demand is being killed by Bank of Canada by raising the rates I don't have incentive to go out and launch new pre-construction projects and not only the new projects the existing projects you will see they will either be delayed or uh, probably be cancelled because there is not enough incentive for builders to continue building new homes where uh, they see that the demand is being killed by Bank of Canada by raising interest rates. So we will see a, a, a severe shortage of new construction homes in the market which will immediately uh, have an impact on the demand side. So from an equivalent perspective we can see Bank of Canada is kind of killing the demand by raising interest rate but at the same time the new construction is not going to happen which will create an uh, an upward demand direction which is trying to put some pressure you know in the market but at some point we will see an equilibrium uh, being maintained when it's going to happen i don't know maybe six months maybe eight months but we will see a lack of supply uh, especially from the pre-construction projects is very much expected and not to mention uh, the pressure on the rents because if you don't have a lot of properties being sold and bought 
uh, that means not enough inventory from the rental perspective is also coming into the market which will push the rents uh, further up so from an affordability perspective i don't see anything happening here uh, but definitely um, the market is in the downtrend but i think at some point we will see equilibrium because the peak construction uh, supply is going to be diminished because of uh, you know demand being killed by bank of canada so just wanted to uh, share my thoughts with you let me know what you think put your comments down below what is your opinion about this and what are you seeing in your areas where the market is heading so let me know what you think and i'll see you in my next week video take care